Welcome back to the drive through. Shout out to time. Don't have a whole lot now, so we're going to move on. Um, hey, what is this? Yes, that is the distance formula. Okay? Well, what if I wanted to know every point? that was five units away from the center of our axes. Okay, let's just think about that. Every point that was five units away from the center of our axes, what shape would that form? It would form a circle. What would be the radius of that circle? The radius of that circle would be five. So the question becomes, what if I wanted to represent that circle with an equation? Could I do it? Okay, well, our D would become what? Five. Okay. And what would one of these points become? Zero, zero. Let's call X one zero and Y one zero. So then what would the equation become? And, and keep in mind, these could be x2 squared and y2 squared, but at this point, we don't need 1s and 2s because that's the only variable we have left. So now what we, could we do with, to both sides? Square both sides. What does the square do to the square root? It cancels it, and now we are starting, hopefully, to understand how the equations of circles work. This is the equation of a circle centered at what? The center is 0, 0, and the radius is 5. So that is it. There's no magic here. So the general equation of a circle centered at A comma B with a radius r, just comes from this, x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared. It's just the distance formula, because what is the definition of a circle? That's exactly right. It is the set of all points, x comma y, that are equidistant. Do you see the distance formula woven into this? From a chosen point called the center. That's it. That's where that comes from. The circle equation is simply an application of the distance formula. What else was, where did the distance formula come from? Pythagorean theorem. And the next thing would be trigonometry, which tells you that we're going to use this unit circle to come up with all sorts of great new facts. So that's it. That's the whole uh, lecture for today. Now go, go nuts on your math Excel. Can I get a boom, 7th bell? A really, really big one? <laughs>